you guys see me in this, you know, I just did a video. But I this is gonna be like my 25th time. I'm doing that 25. But this is gonna be like my fourth or fifth time recording my review on Nivea. Um and by lotion. I do not have it with me. It's in the shower right now. And this is gonna be like a quick probably even five or less video. So the claims are for this um and body lotion that you could put it on rinse it off get out the shower and be have 24 hours worth of moisture the first time i recorded it it was um what day it was i had it after three days and i wasn't really like you could say all these good things off of the first impression but i was like let me not put that up and actually put something up that's more in depth in like a month later or so so it's been about a month since i've been using this product and i'm about to tell you guys what i think about it mind you right now it's january and it's not that cold here in georgia but the air does suck out the moisture out your skin so when I started using it, my skin wasn't all that moisturized. And so I started using it. You know, the outside appearance um, was kind of soft, but I realized that I was still kind of on the ashy side. Um, but my skin was, you know, really soft. But I was like, let me just test it along with that lotion. The day that I did not use that Nivea in shower lotion without, you know, regular lotion also, my skin was itchy irritated um it wasn't because i'm allergic to it it's probably because it's actually moisture moisturizing your skin and you know when you stop moisturizing your skin you get like it, your skin get irritated so that's what happened with me so i started back using it and um let me tell you if you have really dry skin which i picked up the very dry skin formula um i would want you to kind of like use both a lotion and that to make your skin really be moisturized i feel like this product will be better in the summertime instead of the winter time and winter and the texture of it it's not that thick it's kind of watery like it's not like how nivea is really thick like you know it's really thick no it's more like um on the cheaper end texture lotions it's not like a whipped or a cream it's just more like real liquidy like and that's how it is i tried a few different ways um on applying the in body lotion i tried letting it sit on there for a good few minutes i tried just rinsing it off at once and um i realized that it's better if you put it on let it kind of sit for like a few seconds and then rinse it off instead of like just as soon as you put it on rinse it off because um it doesn't get the full detail and then also with the lotion if you have really dry skin the outside of your skin will be shiny after like a few weeks of using it but i feel like it doesn't really penetrate within the skin to the point where it's just like you can tell that you've been wearing lotion this whole time because your skin looks like um reptile please but i don't know if that's just me um some people love it and i i honestly like it it skips a step within my routine lately i've been using like if i didn't use the nivea i use a lotion throughout the day and actually when i do that my skin looks better just because i use the avon moisture lotion and that's legit like one of the best lotions that you could get i use that so like every other day like i like that method of using it i'm gonna see in the summertime if i could just use the nivea straight off the bat but until then, I'm going to tell you guys that it's a good product, but it's not a great product for you to just completely stop using your lotions. Um, if I do end up um, using it, you know, just completely alone during the summertime, it's probably going to be in a favorites, which I'm going to start doing. Not that soon, but soon. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me if you guys want me to view any more things. So, bye.